mystery box is done. We're ready to apply. Like the real thing now. I didn't even know there was a demo. Look at that. I had no idea there was a demo. I just wasted an hour on a freaking demo. And the game is out. That's crazy. That's so crazy. All right, here we go. The real game. I gotta have to... I'm going to have to turn down the volume of this for sure, for sure. Um, just one second. Uh... Okay, start, and then agree to everything. Oh, I guess I could just hit W. Okay, I need to turn it up just a little bit. Use the cutting room floor to see your current path through the story. You can jump to previously played points in the story to change outcomes, unlock different branches, and find collectibles you may have missed. It kind of sounds like cheating, but okay. Um, Plunder's Instinct Unlocked. You'll be able to use Plunder's Instinct when in close range. When activated, the aura of collectible trinkets is revealed. Die alone, die together. Wait. Can we do this now? I mean, I'm not on Twitch yet, but maybe I should be connected. <gasps> Hold on. Let's see if I can connect this. I'm going to... Do that real quick in case anything pops up that shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. Activate. Wait, what? <sighs> Activate. Authorize. Oh, we did it. Okay. Um, all right. Here, you guys can see now. Uh, open eyeball and open eyeball. Okay. Connect the switch. Uh, copyrighted music is off. And I don't really know. I don't, I guess I don't really need that though. Because I'm not on Twitch right now. I thought, I thought you had to play the game all the way through before the Twitch integration took effect. But this is making me think it doesn't. So now I'm wondering if I should switch to Twitch. Streaming instead of TikTok. <laughs> um... Let's see. We're still doing Survivor. I'm I'm gonna have to replay everything we just did. I know it. <gasps> Some will result in blood. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. God, I'm gonna have to a play world the whole hour within all over a story again. whispered to me centuries ago of a timeless power infinite in knowledge voracious in hunger 
the entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. She got Frank Stone to do her dirty work, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, at least we can kind of speak through this first part. Since I literally just made it. It is so good. It's a little super massive horror game. Movie, movie horror game game video for a movie and game <laughs> and there he is Frank Stone the man the myth the in the beginning too I was like are we playing as some sort of <laughs> dog situation hunt for missing infant continues dead rat play. here we are I should turn the... Hold on, before that gets too far into it. Audio. Here we go. Yes, and back and continue. You were somewhere else. <laughs> Now I'm scared I'm on the freaking demo again. <laughs> I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. You and the dog are security for the mill? Concern. So, you and the dog? Merlin. Merlin? You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Sam, that's our name. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, Sam. are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. Been drinking, Tom? B. 
been drinking, Tom? Just a little nightcap. Nightcaps usually happen before a nap. This a regular habit? Regular? Oh, no, not regular. More sort of medication, taken only in time of need. How often is that? Is that what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. I'd like to take a look around, Tom. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You wanna do my job for me? Be my guest. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Happy to oblige. Find a way into the mill, but first, we gotta get us a little trinket. Press Q to activate Plunder's Instinct. She. Okay, anyway. We know where this one is. Keep going! Grab this little box situation. One of 12, okay, all right. She promised to take away the pain, take away my nightmares. I forgot we have to read that fast. All right, one down, 11 to go. Get in through there. Here we go. Hup. 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 Got it. Yes, it is. Yes. Yep, that's super massive. Huh. Easy <laughs> oh, God, the dog's okay. <laughs> we will find out soon, I promise. All right, bud. There wasn't anything right here. And then we went through here. I don't think we found anything in here, right? No. Let's go. Where's the child again? <laughs> right. All right. <clears throat> Here I go. This was the checklist talking about who was here in our little. No one's been working nights for a while. And then the only other thing was this clipboard. Hello? 
Move it. For the missing child. Anyone here? It's police. He got me the first time, can't get me again. Who's there? I do kind of want to go upstairs this time, though. Oh, we can't. Threats. Different trinkets around here? Maybe. I can't press that cue again, though. That for the plunders. Ugh, smells like death. Situation? Maybe I should go back here. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's the smell like? Nothing good. Nothing good. All right, here we go. There's Merlin. We wonder Dog's where you fine. got to. Let's go, Merlin. <laughs> Come here, boy. Dig name it. Sure would have liked it if you two made proper acquaintance. Maybe God next time, it. Tom. Maybe next time. <sighs> You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? <laughs> An ear? Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? We're gonna say... I don't think so. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. All right. That's what we're looking for.
teenager is he a pro at guessing ear ages? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Stay Absolutely. behind me. Absolutely. You gotta be in this line of work, you know? Body part ages. Scratch that, that sounds gross. We didn't say that. So, what is this thing? <laughs> this party break? trick. Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. All right, let's get this great pride open. Hey! <sighs> Making the jumping sound definitely helps, I promise. Gotcha. Uh, I gotta turn around. Huh. Oh. Oh. We kind of went to the barbed wire there. That's fine. Stand back. <clears throat> Got it. <clears throat> Don't fail the skill check again. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. It's coming up. I'm scared. <laughs> the right. sound scares me, and Take then this. I forget to like focus. Is the radio in my car and call the station? <laughs> well, where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. All right, we're gonna put our faith in Tom again. Hey, Tom, you got this. I'm going to need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, boy, I don't know. Tom. Sure could use a little pick-me-up right about now. Reassuring call. I think you're better off keeping a clear head. Let's go, Tom. Now, where's that ever got me? You got this. I'm serious. We don't know what's out there. All the more reason to put up a liquid shield. Like if something bad's gonna happen, it's gonna happen whether you drink or not. So you gotta decide if you wanna meet this like a man or you wanna meet it like a drunk. He's definitely hitting the bottle. That's well, definitely gonna like happen. A choice. Hey, I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Not because he doesn't want to be a man, but because we gave him the option. Get on this way. Oh, it tells you when you can process. I don't like that. 
feels too cheaty. Right though? It's a little, it's a little bit of a hack. <clears throat> Okay, furnace time. Here and up here and over here. This has got to be it. And through here. Look at the vertebrae. What is that? Skill check times. Ooh! <laughs> uh, this place turns my stomach. All right. Mm. On to the stomach. Here we go. Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> I'm scared of skill checks. Okay, but actually we didn't... We didn't check out any of this though last time. Let me go up here real quick. <gasps> I don't like this inspect. How? My God. What is it? Is it a piece of Frank's mask? All right. Bear trap? Oh no. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We got it this time. We got it this time. Uh, we saved Stan. But only because we knew it was coming. As soon as I hear that that sound the skill check sound <laughs> it scares me all right all right here we go Cool. All right, we took the ladder last time. Should we take the ramp this time or just like be safe and take the ladder? I'm gonna take the ladder just because I know what happens with the ladder. You wonder if the ramp is more safe? I feel like we're, we just fall off the uh, the ramp, though, and into the scariness. See, it is a part of his mask. That's the missing piece. He cut out. Skill checks are fun. It's a part of his mask. He cut out for his mouth. And oh, there was no sound on that one. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. I missed. I missed punching him again. I'm <laughs> not still check the one. It's fine, we're fine. Frank, you freaking butthole. Let's go. Let's go, Sam. You got this. Yes. 
got you. I got you. I got you. Mm. No. He's good. We freed ourselves from the pipe. We're good. Rolling over. I wonder if you did the brief yourself in the pipe with your parish. I mean, not just me, that freaking baby, too. Got him. It's like that Terminator scene, you know, in the end. You know, you know, right? You know. Terminator. Right? Sleep tight, motherfucker. Get it, Sam. Stopped Frank Stone. Here we go. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Her breathing's kind of now yes let's go and that's the cool thing about the purple apps integration is with that active it allows um chat or viewers to make all the decisions for the whole game which is freaking cool thought it was me <laughs> Mom. That's hilarious. Mom. All right. What else we got in here? Nothing? Some things? Trinket finding again. Making that noise? <laughs> nope, not it. Not it. Mom? Where's mom going? That's funny. <laughs> Mom? Why is this place falling apart? None of this is right. You think? You don't even got a roof. Oh no! We've scratched out Mother's face. And that's wild. I can't pick up that uh, newspaper. <gasps> there she is again. What the? The door's upside down. Hello? Why are we doing this chase? Is it something like I've got to turn around and go back? Is this a puzzle? Is this a situation? I'm <laughs> up, stop running away, right? <gasps> We're outside, finally, we did it. 
Why are we red? Oh my god, we're hurt. It is like in Dead by Daylight when you get hurt. We're bleeding out and the monster can find us. That's not good. There's a TV in the forest. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, turn it on. Let's go. Within a dream, let's go. A dream within a dream. I did take her. Get her grip. Required for a personal audience with Augustine. I was trying to read that. Is that a hitchhiker? Um, um. We're gonna stop because that's someone going to the same place we're going to. Hopefully, question mark. Are you friendly? <clears throat> so, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Okay, never mind. Drive. 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 Yeah. It was bad so, to stop. Do you mind giving me a lift? Right. Sure. Of I don't course. know your vibes off. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh. Weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way. <laughs> Uh, guess not. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. Fate changed. You chose to pick up the hitchhiker. I like that the Steam achievements look like the little Dead by Daylight skill tree situation. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds touch. of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, 
did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from That's Oregon. That's where Sam well, was one from, of them is. Oregon. I always heard it was really nice, or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. Maddie and Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. She's... We... We... I... It's a vibe situation. Curious. Okay, so she... what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film Her shoots vibes and festivals. Her scary. And... Linda oh, appreciates your usual interest, Hollywood though. bullshit. Why did say she introduced oh, wow. herself as I heard Linda, that's a real though. tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard Linda, to keep. hi, hello. <laughs> Had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, just got back from school. I've had to work Let's real go. hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on, you don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. It's good. Mine's going good. Yay. Linda is grateful you pulled over. She better freaking be. She wasn't acting like it at first. Hey, take a look. But we are some stranger that just pulled over. Yes, Maddie and Linda not forget the name. I think we've sure. come to the end of the rainbow. Maddie and Linda. We're Maddie. Chapter two. In the house of darkness. The Garrett Manor. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. Did somebody say horror so, um, movie? Do we just knock Let's or... Go. I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Sorry, I'm just trying to order this real quick. Hello, Garrett Manor. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely. Oh, that's more like a telephone, to not a door. <laughs> not a door knock. Me too. <laughs> um, hello. Welcome to hello? the Garrett Manor. Hello. Anybody home? It absolutely does not look like anybody's home. Why is she even screaming? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, Linda. It's no, not. I think. Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? Are they? No way, is it? You definitely just don't want to walk Do into someone's house. Go in? No. Why are you asking me? Cause you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <gasps> then uh, Then you first, go. Linda. You first. No, Maddie. Maddie. Yeah. Okay. Off. The manor's a bit spooky. Spooky? If by spooky you mean cozy. Hello? Let's take a look around. All right, Linda. Let's go, Maddie. I kind of um, feel like she's gonna like 
put Hello? a knife at our backs, you know? Like we've arrived. Oh, there she goes. She's all the way over there. All right. Look around and find Augustine Lieber. Can I grab a candle? No. Okay. All right. This seems a bit more lively. Where? Where? Where does it seem more lively? I think this would be a Dead by Daylight map. What is this guy doing? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am. So sorry, where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. It, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. I don't know, uh, like right off the bat, I kind of don't like Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple. We the, have to be The city that never sleeps. Time. Okay. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. What's his name? Uh, been waiting here a while. This place is Creep Town, right? Um, um, have you been waiting here a while? For more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? What a peculiar answer. Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Until I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't what does that kind mean? Of weird. There's no one here. I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book in all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Augustine? That's this guy? Oh, Stan, this is. Lynn de Castle. I am such Linda a huge Castle. fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled. By your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford Stan? III, at your beck and call. Only if you call me Stan. Stan, Stan the man. <laughs> <Right>. Sure. Ew. <laughs> Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. The man man is the nick. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous <laughs> construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcendent. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss yeah, Castle, I don't know how you we feel are about the quintessential Stan. countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon wait didn't you two come here together oh no i mean yeah we drove in together but only the last couple miles i had some car trouble i see i'm sorry i thought that you were miss castle's assistant <laughs> nope just me wait should i be flattered or insulted by that oh well <laughs> i didn't mean i'm just flattered you think i have an assistant I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I'm I mean, why not confused. at this point? Maybe our host is. Why does he know else? everybody? What do you do, Stan? Or did oh, he I'm just know her? Or did he just know but Linda? It involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. All right, uh, I'm going. I'm obviously. getting out of here. I'm just kidding, <laughs> guys. We're locked in here. The Epic of Gilgamesh. A bit of light. 
bedtime reading. Tablet 5, The Slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the permanent god and Lil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us, and Lil is in Nupur. <sighs> Shamish <laughs> is in Sipar. Erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. They tied together a raft and Kindu steered it while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Read carefully, Norman. Study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Humbaba's pleas for clemency, recognized sparring sparing the demon would undo the hero's right righteously won victory that only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods there is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory the heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint some tells me these people are gonna die <laughs> A book attempting to illustrate to Norman how words are going by so fast. First of all. Second of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're um we're uh we may be toast. At least someone. Oh, oh, we're like fully locked up in here. Stan the man. Oh, like murder mill, what's going on? Okay. The mill. Hey, either of you heard of movie Murder coaster. Mill? There's a lost horror movie Holy called Murder Shinobi. Mill. Be. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? Oh, Linda Castle. It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. <laughs> Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at Let's least one, it. just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And Stan the, the fan. Flicker, flicker. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Stan's growing on me. I hate to admit it. Stan's growing. <laughs> oh, Stan, the man good. who is a fan. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. Augustine? I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention. Uh, all dried up, oh. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. <laughs> Everyone. Don't be shy uh, about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. To playlist. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself. Augustine Lieber. Augustine, it is Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Could you tell us what we're doing here, Augustine? Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Um, do we drink it? Do we have what Stan's having or no? Yes? No, we're going to stay clear-headed. I'm good, thanks. Uh, no, 
That's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. I can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking <laughs> doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. Can confirm. You refused Augustine's offer of a drink. They changed. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. I wonder if Stan's going to Brass die. Brass Augustine, I did not come all this way just for drinks. I mean, What's at first I was thinking, there? whatever it takes, that'll be Look, his I outcome. I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. I'm gonna give him a minute, though. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. Why would he have, I feel work like he's in on it. Noted Artur. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. That's more so than I'm a fan. Told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. What, what do we have? I, I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain... Why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to Ma finish discussing all means. in due course, <laughs> Ms. Castle. We have questions. What are we doing here? Why do we all have little pieces of this freaking movie? We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. I'm, An endless, agonized nightmare. This is the mill again, yeah. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Is Augustine the lady in the cloak? Who found Frank Stone? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Who's this guy? No, no, no. My sister. All I have to do is betray my own sister and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! <laughs> oh no! 
Uh, do we kill our sister? Or do we, you know, do we sacrifice our sister or ourselves? Our sister or ourselves? We know nothing about our sister. What if she's a terrible person? But we know nothing about us? Also. He did just deliver that terrible speech, though. <laughs> Sister? All right. Well, let's go for it. I can't believe it's come to this. I can't but believe it's come to this. <laughs> far more important than any one life. And it's a... Oh, yeah. It was, it's, it's, a, it's a me or my, my sister, sister situation right now. Right. If that was us. If that's us. Take her! Take her, goddamn you, before I change my mind! But just know, I will hunt you down and kill every single one of you until my very last breath on this earth. Good choice, good choice. I'm here for this guy. With your lives. <laughs> the ultimate price. For... For... Is it Frank Stone? For... Doing bad guy stuff. Bad guy stuff. You said you'd let me go free! Oh no, it's a twofer! It was a trap. <laughs> Just that. Say this is the I movie for sure, the movie for sure, for sure. Huh? What? Terrible acting on purpose. Take my sister? That's not in the script, man. I was just like really <laughs> feeling the moment, you know? Thought I'd bring a little bit of that method acting. This is Jamie. Magic. Got well, it. Well, maybe like ask me next time, okay? Or is this Jamie? Okay. Sure. Sorry. Oh, that's gosh. Jamie. No, every word wait. I write into a script is important, Jaime. Every word. Each and every last little Jaime. syllable. I get it. I get it. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, th let me check the gate. Linda Castle? You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted <gasps> to show off Linda. all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face <laughs> acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera too. Uh -oh. They're fighting. And there's no such thing as a wide close up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Uh, it doesn't sound like it. Linda, you've got to respect the director. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. Defensive, defensive, defensive. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Linda sure. is happy you sided with sure. her. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Trust Linda's judgment on camera. Trust your own judgment on the script. Oh, she's Why mad. even bother having a director? Oh, come on. Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Chris is annoyed because he's I'm with Linda. the director. <laughs> Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh. 
Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Say what? Mm -hmm. Worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, all right, here we go. Uh, camera speeds. Yeah. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! Oh, no. dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Sam? Mr. Green? Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, Dang, I suggest you, Sam, calm down. Miss Castle, and Miss Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Tammy Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Um. He seems really upset. Maybe we should just apologize. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. No, it's broken. What are we supposed to do with a busted camera? I guess that's it then. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. Sam appreciated your what the hell apologetic crawled up his ass. ass. No, he's not so bad. Usually. We're still gonna film here though. We're Let's not gonna go. do what he says, right? <laughs> really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. We'll come back when it's dark. Keep them hooked. Back in time, we absolutely did. Vans are cool. Bumper sticker. <laughs> oh, All right. What a complete and utter disaster! Garage. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. 
Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. They got that Whoa, murder mill don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. That's weird. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't <laughs> want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Wait. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Maybe. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. I'm confused Probably with Augustine, though. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? What do you think he was up to? Who were the victims? Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? You, no how many? for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? Why withhold all this till now? Excited. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. Yeah, How we do. Think about it. Our movie shot in a real life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity buster. Oh. People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck, but not if our fucking camera is fucking broken. Ugh. Hey, why don't we I, I kind of love her, I kind of love Chris. So, we are loving yeah, Chris. Yeah, the thing is, I, kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. <laughs> Lady language. Kind of shit out of luck. Language. <laughs> what? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Maybe. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Hey, are you okay? I mean, I would say howdy, partner, but we'll say, hey, are you okay? Because hey, we're homie. Okay? What's up? We're not me. We're homie. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. Do we know her uh, name yet? The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. Mom. That's true. 
Okay, brother and sister. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? I don't know. Is it 20 bucks? That doesn't seem like a lot. Oh, wait, but we're like forever ago, so. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. That's 20 like, bucks. You know, eight hours of work. That ain't pocket change. This is my fault. I dropped the camera. But only because I was uh, charged at by a cop. Wait, what? It's true. When you make dangerous cinema, you walk dangerous line. This is not going to be a film Hand for on. families. This 20 is a film you watch after midnight at the Waverly on 6th. How do you know about the Waverly? Because that's where this film's going to play. But only if we find someone willing to take a risk on something dangerous. Don't recognize Fine, any of the actors in. in this one. Usually there's a but couple I recognize But just because the these. last movie I saw in New York before coming home was a midnight at the Waverly. What was it? Oh, fuck if I know. Had some weird lady with big cheeks living in the walls or something. Huh. Oh, and I get the garage. Like voice tonight. actors? What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right. It's a deal. Oh, I know what you're saying. Try not to waste yeah. it. Don't worry. Um, we'll put it to good use. That last one had a whole bunch, didn't they? Wasn't Aquafina in one of them? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's Was just, it Aquafina? Uh, what is in that fake blood? Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah. At any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. They're taking what? their broken camera there? to a pharmacy? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You yes, never know. let's go there. I bet the they have some old junk, store. too. Your call, Chris. We're going. Definitely going. Curiosity shop. Without I I hesitation. Am curious regarding said shop. Eh? <laughs> yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. <sighs> oh my god. You chose to try the curious store first. Man. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and Our fate turns changed. them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Maybe for the better. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. That bird sound freaked me out. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. Um, just try Maybe the door. So the just walk in closes. like you all normally and what do. What is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please come on inside.
Maybe we should now, turn around. Let me see. <laughs> I think Maybe we should go back. I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Yeah, yeah. Make ourselves at Trinket home. Trinket time. Year? I think that's Augustine. I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed the capitalist lady? state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. She doesn't... Uh, she looks very old, though. Where did I put or all Chris the... now? How has this place become such a mess? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's Kelly. <gasps> I love that. That looks so good. Dead weight. We gotta look to see if we can find something. We're supposed to talk to Linda, but. We are busy looking Let's say right hypothetically, now. Hypothetically, she does find a camera. For are you us talking to me? What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. We gotta sneak in the back at night. Calm down. Hmm. We'll figure it out. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Okay, bye. Another skelly. Let's go. What's that? Ooh. It's a crow with no eyes. Okay. I thought there was something else glowing other than this door handle. Surely there's something. No, there are two skeletons. Um, I'll talk to you in a second, Linda. Dang. Wait, how'd you get over here now? <gasps> There's something right here. I'm gonna take it. <gasps> Just kidding. Why would I take it? <laughs> I'm not a thief. Calm down. Turn it on. It's a pin. I know. I love pin. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Us. Very much so. Okay, let's talk to Linda. Actually, hold on. I can't turn it very well. Oh my god! It's so cute! I want that so bad. Oh my god, it's Frank. It's Frank Stone. Look in a little bit, right? Oh, didn't mean to pull it again, but it's so cute. It's so freaking cute. Why won't it let me take it? All right. Oh. I'm going back here. Oh, dang. Where are my lockpicks when you need them? Okay, what's up, Linda? Linda? Hello? Linda? Did 
Can it say to talk to Linda? Is that not Linda? What's happening? Linda, hello? Hello? She comes running out straight out of this. Had to give her a little push first. Like, so bummed out. You're in luck. Maybe they'll bring a some merch out in the future. Right? Indeed. Oh my god. Yes. Whoa. Wait. But may I? I insist. She just went to the back room and found a brand new camera. For exactly 20 bucks. It's our lucky day. It's pretty old possible we could make it work but it's not exactly what we had in mind mm -hmm. uh, how much are you asking for it oh there's a tiny little price tag on it but i seem to have forgotten my reading glasses why don't you take a look oh my god we're gonna lie oh my god it's gonna ask us to lie 20 bucks Oh, okay. It's not a lie. That seems reasonable. That's oh, I didn't mean to click it. Mm. I clicked. Mm. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Mm. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> it is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price. But perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Okay, here's twenty bucks. One of a kind. What is that? Handmade. It's for luck. A mirror that shows demons. I could use it as a prop. I think I'll pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take it. Haunted mirror. Haunted I little mirror. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Yes. Delightful. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. 20 bucks. All yours. You haggled and received a pocket mirror. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. You know that does look like yep, Augustine. That's us. But like she reversed aged or something. Or she's playing dress up here. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Oh, my God. Don't Wait, drop Chris, it. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Again. Emergency <sighs> sock quarter. All right. <gasps> we got a little uh, cue situation. Cursed Cage movies? Lips. Oh. Really? What? Must be a slow the dark movie. mythology of the lost movie. There are those films that have been lost over time, which, in their absence, have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fas fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they, ha they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into the darker reality realized only by the camera. There's like some glare coming off my PC onto the screen. It's hard to read. Should we press it? Should we press it? Should we press it? Fall into the fear trap. Whore's hottest sensation. High score. Let me get some of that fear trap. Let me get let me get behind that. The bomb burger. Demolition oh. scheduled this year. Cedar wow. Hills renewal enters new phase. Is gonna be the last record Move of fast the to secure your place today. Lightbringer Estates has announced the next date. Okay. In the transformation of Cedar Hills, with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Still Mill, exploratory visits in the old Cedar Still site by Lightbringer's experts, teams of engineers and architects have already commenced ahead of the demolition scheduled for later this year and construction beginning 
in early 81. Okay, let's hit it. Um, kill him? What's this? I could so find a place for these. Hold on, they go bang. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Firecrackers. Why is it? Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Got it. Waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. Yes. But they're like little Monopoly pieces. Love it. All right, here's our milk. Um, grab. Um. Got it. Another Missing engine. Benny Baker. I hope they're found. No, Benny, no. All right, we got our milk. Let's go. Fear trap. Let me play it. Let me play. Wait, what do I do? Wait, what do I do? Wait, what do I do? Oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. Wait. I'm dead. I'm dead. like space invaders shoot <gasps> we got that top one we need to move we need to move we need to move We got it, we got it, we got it. I'm hitting those ones, aren't I? I missed the freaking alien again. There we go. No! It got away from me again. Okay, not gonna lie, this game's boring. <laughs> Ding. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert. Wasn't the well, name on the list? Wait, I thought you worked at the uh, library. The, the game, really? On that How little board, you know? it was. Don't think I ever saw you come in. Sam. I got spies everywhere. Wait, no, man. Sam. Sam kicked so, us out. Sam's Linda. kid. Busted. <laughs> that looks like Sam. You can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> Robert? <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. I just need the milk. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. She Actually, you don't see any sock? coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Bro, it's not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. 
didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into I knew the it. Mill? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He watches that place like a hawk. It's uh, Sam's Yeah, we had child. a little run-in with him today. But we're going to sneak back in to shoot the He's rest. behind you. Shut your mouth. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a... Um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. <laughs> to show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Dad oh, knows. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Dad knows. Don't lie to Dad. <sighs> Chris. Just buying some I'm milk. sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Mm, we're still gonna finish our movie. They told me about Frank Stone. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work? You realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. <laughs> ready to go, Dad. <laughs> that guy. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Dang, okay. Okay. Little bad guy vibes, just a little bit. That's fine. He can I get us in. Many we got a movie to make. The centuries. Dr. Augustine Leeper was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. She's a freaking witch. Giving them witch. the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? It is her, yeah. These walls have eyes. Hey! All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, mm. What's her name? What's her name again? <laughs> Madeline? Bad dream? Ma Maddie? Maddie? Maddie. Ugh. How long was I out? I, she don't sleep good at all. I don't even remember falling asleep. Maddie. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait. What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about oh, Augustine man, it's for Stan a minute again. and talk about the a thousand Stan, foot long the man, elephant the in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. 
I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Curse film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any so trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> we were locked in here, though, weren't we? What are you waiting for? It's open now. Let's go. <laughs> Follow the man, bud. <laughs> oh, they're leaving me. Well, now okay. This is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Hmm, how do you know about Murder Mill? Tell me about Augustine. Why would he know anything about Augustine? Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? Mm-hmm, yeah. When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed. The fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I, I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, Maddie's here. Just catching up. <laughs> so, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. All right, let's go. <clears throat> We're Linda. I deny this place would make an incredible film location. All right, let's go, Linda. Who do we have here? I love your outfit, by the huh. way. Who Madeline said that? Was a curious sound. Well, the shoes are Italian. Oh, Madeline said that. Annabelle. We just opened something. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants right here, right here, from his right here, guy's right here, right here. guy. I had him tailored just right by the other guy. And who also got me the blazer, going. which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. We found the security I'm room. Looks like practically every room in the house. 
But where's our host? Where is our host? Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and this? likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Augustine has interest in temporal machine? What? All right, well, where is the, um, uh, can't like zoom in to any of these. All right, moving on. A little bonsai tree. Uh, the leaves are gone. Maybe it's not a bonsai. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm stuck on you. All right. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further. I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know she my mom? She does look just like her. A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. Stan. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Yeah, Stan. Oh, well, now that Maddie is a feels very alienated from you. Mm. Why? What do we do? do. Mm. But you know what? Inside, what do you I'm mean? such a big fan of your work. I'll give you a little taste. Free of charge. I can't tell you who I got it from or why they had it. I will tell you that I acquired it from them completely by the book in a very honorable game of chance. You won it? Fair and square. Who the fuck would be gambling with it? They have no right. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're more attached to this little project than what you've been letting on. You don't just gamble away something like that. He is pretty irritating. <laughs> and all over the place emotionally. We've got to take him out. All right. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. <gasps> it is missing a piece, isn't it? We will find the piece. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's oh, family. What is this? Yes, Whoa. the first chance we get. Sacrifice. Piece. <laughs> Look at the metal work. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh, what happened? Why did that menu just come up? All right. What does this say? The Face of Sincerely Evil, the true no story trash. of Frank Stone. Told Sam by the man Green who stopped him, Frank Stone. Sheriff Lloyd. I could write a better book than this. Lloyd Cusick? C what? Cusick? Cus? Or just Lloyd, Mr. K, doesn't like the title hero. In fall of 63, Mr. K was the local sheriff, Sam. 
Sam? It was Sam, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 was the local sheriff of Cedar Hills, a sleepy Oregon steel town. Just a regular blue collar Joe. No. Yes? His doing his darndest to make life a little safer for the folks who put their trust in him. But Cedar Hills was hiding a silent menace, a merciless monster preying on the unsuspecting citizen Mr. K had sworn to protect. When the bodies started piling up, the only thing left was for an everyday hero to step up. This is the true account of how Cedar Hill's first and only serial killer was brought to justice, told firsthand by the man who dared look evil in the eye and pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, we're opening it. Okay. Um. That fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check on things. Not my first choice. The flat foot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was stone standing on a platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I'm not afraid to admit that I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost. So I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. I mean, are, you're leaving out the fact that he had you in like a death grip and then he plunged your body onto a pipe, but okay. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hill trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few were, weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. <laughs> he, he did. He left out all the good stuff. What the heck? There were suspicions that Frank Stone committed his crimes with the help of an accomplice. Yeah. Agatha. Agustine. Ag... Ag... What was her name? Agustine. Agatha. What was that yeah. lady's name? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? Who's no talking? Way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Augustine. Damn? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Ma'am, are you talking to yourself, Maddie? You What's sure would get a kick out of this place. She's talking to her mom. Mm, you'd oh. probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. Okay, 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 okay. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because... Sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like, she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well... She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. 
Any good stories? Uh, it's not a good idea to dwell on the past. There's something I never told anyone. We should definitely tell her. She picked us up and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. August. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. Oh no, maybe we're digging we're up old kids sheesh for making her. a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. The murder man. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open. Oh, full she's of light, getting it. <laughs> and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Maddie hey, is grateful hey to hear the memory. Okay, good. Maybe she's not mad anymore. No, wait. I had something else to look at. Look. Stan. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! They might be after the film strips. If this plot gets any thicker, Augustine suspected or expected something like this. Are we concerned they might be after the film strips? Or do we think we know Augustine? Is that just some sheesh? Serious? I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. That's Good true. That is true. Probably we're pretty safe. Maddie doesn't appreciate your suspicions. Right. Um, so, do you think Maddie's we should all over find the place. Augustine? Give her a heads up. Even if you wanted to tell her. Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. Yeah, maybe. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I need to check something out first, anything though, can get through that, Turn including around, sound. Please. Which means it might be the safest place to be whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Who are you, shadow guy? Creeper in the shadows. <laughs> the phantom of Cedar Still. Steel. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. You gotta keep it down, right on time. Hey, right on time! Time to get cooking! What? Nothing, nothing, just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. Who? All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. 
Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of Merch the team, time. <laughs> gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> this is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Uh, yeah, so Police Dad's never killer. exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Kushik. People around here Kushik. knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. Stone, 10 and Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. Guess not. Uneasy, subdued. I mean, I feel like he would care about it. Maybe not. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, Robert, we realized there might name, be Robert. an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not gonna leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Okay. Where am I? Look around the garage, then talk to Linda. Murder mill. Wait. I can't believe mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Here, let me start with hospital you. Called, so we're Mom looking for Frank Stone Sunday. references. We're looking for okay. anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. And talk That's to why I'm sure that. there's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. Well, will find Show it. us what we have so far, let's go. One, two, three. I don't wanna turn that on. Here. Look at Oracle this. Oracle of the Omniverse. Mill projections dire Guru for fall Connor season. Barnum. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. Do you feel trapped? People were depressed. Are you living your life? There were suicides. Or merely surviving it? Not at Does the mill, Does this universe but, like, satisfy you, or are you left or seeking a deeper off? truth beyond Damn. this reality? This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not <laughs> sound like a fun place to I... spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple oh, articles we're like it. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mill was in serious decline. But if it I'm not gonna read it though. Frank, <laughs> I don't know. It's all related. That's kind of cool, An John. Omniverse. To the way he or was. Split in half. Why he did right. what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion. It's just a Plus, hunch. There was like something really important. A book claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects across different. <laughs> yes. Well, they say different I planes. Some of these yes. Today too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. And a little before. Oh, right, good thinking. Cassette recording. Oh, we took it. End of an era. Cedar Still Mill to permanently close. Secrets of Killer Stone come to light. All right, where's Linda? Hey, oh, Linda. Let's talk. I didn't
don't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Of Robert? Mm -hmm. Or of understandable at the mill? Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? <laughs> what is he thinking? Is he, he's not worried about Robert. He ain't worried about Robert. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. <laughs> she knows nothing about the new scene. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. You shouldn't have wasted all this time. It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh! Yes! Huh? Well, what is this? It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. New oh, blood. yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? OK, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. I love her. Chris is everything. Oh no, does she go or no? She stays behind. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Oh no, she's gonna follow us. Hello. Interesting. Oh no. He's wearing the Ladies murder mill shirt. Let's go. I present the mill. Why is it Linda? Yep. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Dead by daylight, too. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. First step's a doozy. All right, here we go. Murder mill time. All right. This way. Find the entrance to the storm drain. Got it. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking wild. It's perfect. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy right. and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then okay. give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. Easy. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. Oh. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. A little lobby. Those are both very... A little longer. Mm -hmm. Farther away know. from dad. So. Which way? Or right up over the fence next to dad. <gasps> We're gonna go the long way. We don't wanna get caught. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, 
I don't want to get in any trouble either. Here nope. we go. We should cross. Yeah. Hoop. 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 <laughs> it's like we all made it. Bobby Masters. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. I had a cool title, though. You could see you being tired for work in the morning. It's your bedtime, but I can't leave. Oh. No. Leave. Go to bed. Sleep is so much more important. Always choose sleep. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Well, thank Damn. you for being here. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Just the no, I'm staying. Cool. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should stick to finishing one oh, movie no. at a time. Oh no, press space to start crossing. Totally. Use yeah. A and D to balance and W S to move. We're falling. We're falling. Elizabeth, we're falling. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. There's something here. Our spidey senses are tingling. Oh, 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 it's over there. Hold on, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Chris Gordon. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Another victim oh my God, I'm by Frank no. Stone. Get okay. it together. Okay, we did it. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my God, we're, we're gonna have to go back. Get it. Chris. Chris, it's right in front of you. And down. Chris, there we go. A tattooed middle finger. Not gonna lie, I thought that was a boomerang. I thought it was a boomerang. It's a middle finger. So, oh, much better. Much, much better than a boomerang. <laughs> oh no. We have to go back. Here we go. We did it, 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 we did it. Why, why is he getting up here? What are you doing? Okay. And here's Robert. Let's go. I can't crap. Oh. Where'd Robert go? Up. Why is that guy on top of me? Made it. This place is awesome. Did we just leave our headlights on? I wonder on? what we'll find inside. That car's not gonna start. Wait. That doesn't look like our car. Didn't we drive in a van? I have questions now. It was a group effort. We all got up at the same time. Are you absolutely sure? This is safe, and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades. I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> Flashlights, let's go. Oh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. 
bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. Yo, Robert <laughs> you know is ready. We're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> yes. W's for frickin' Robert. Robert ready. <laughs> we love an organized king. Yeah. Find a way into the mill. We need to do everything we can to protect Robert. We must be under the mill by this now. This way, fellow Just traveler. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <laughs> there was. Our little trinket one time. box to let us know how good we're doing. Boom. Oh no. That's the one I thought was a boomerang. Oh no. Did we miss one? Oh no, I feel like we missed one. I feel like that's what that means. Oh no. We gotta go back somewhere. I'm leaving my group. I'm leaving my group. <gasps> and I'm so glad Who I did. Who this here? The Wraith. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. Look how cute it is. I'm so sad we can't take those. All right, finding the group again. Uh, guys. We're going in there, we're going in there, we're going in there, we're going in there, absolutely going in here. We did it. sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, probably. Huh, they a little key. Casting shed. Better get back to Robert. Oh, right. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, <laughs> but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk. Why did she just stop talking? Why did she just stop talking? That was crazy. All right, here we go. Robert, there he is. He waited for us. As I've been saying, when I was little and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember. Keep going. Kind of like knowing what he went life. through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. Got to see him the way he really is. Why are the arrows? He showed me all his exactly scars. Like you know, he fucked up his oh. shoulder that night. Sorry, Robert. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnished chamber, actually. They did, they absolutely oh, did. Shit. I gotta what else go did there? there? I gotta go. Just that he saw things no man should ever see. I feel like we're about to get oh, skill no. checked again, what though, does too. That mean? Every time I've ever brought it up. God, is he following? That look in his eye. Okay. I just don't no want to see him handle. like that. Nothing we can do here either. No little trinkets. All right. 
going back to Robert. I'm lost. Okay, wait. Perfect. There he is. All right, Robert. Don't worry. Lead the way. Oh, yes. Right. Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. Oh. You sound disappointed. Where did everybody else go? No. Did we split up as a group? No. We must have. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Nearly there. Me too. If we get chased through here, we're done. We're done. We're done. Any for. major plans for after we graduate? Do you think the mask is still uh, there? I haven't mm, given it much thought. Maybe. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your. He's gonna be like, God damn it! Stop walking away from me. <clears throat> um. So I was gonna say, <laughs> I can just tell. The film, the directing. It's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh yeah, oh. you like the horror movies, Robert? I thought you just liked hanging out around okay. haunted mills. There's nothing down here. You don't oh. really oh. think it's haunted. Oh. Don't Something I? is here. Knock it off. Why did it say look? That's where he climbed through on his stomach. Yes, right? No? Yes? Hey, look! Our uh, buddy's here. Wait, who is that? Oh, yeah, that's Hame. Um, where is Linda? All right, let's go, Robert. I think this is it. Up there. Last chance to turn back. <gasps> it's the ladder we fell down. Who fixed it? Who fixed the ladder? Also, yeah, Linda be missing. She's gone. Oh, she magically appeared. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Have you, Linda? <gasps> yes! Robert, <laughs> you're a genius. Good call on that storm drain. Thank you, Robert. She is magic. Come on, people! All right, let's go. One more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're our done. Our yap sacks. Ew. I don't like that. Her yap sacks. There's a trinket box right there, though. And that's a person's face. Uh. Hame? <laughs> and cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! That was <clears throat> it, we did it. A little premature with the face sucking. We still have one more scene. Yes, my scene, hello? That I worked on. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. Oh. With our chemistry? Oh. He's gonna buy Linda. That. Where what? were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. What is Linda doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? And you guys, what are you doing? What do you guys With think? With all that tap-ins? Seven we do it. Sounds taps? Good. That's crazy. That's wild. Thank you. <laughs> huh? 
Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Oh, I was gonna Be say, right where's the freaking dog? But there's no way the dog is still at the mill, right? Did you see something? No. What was, was the dog's name? You sure? You seem Merlin. Kind of spooked. What's up? There ain't no way that dog's still around. Nothing, right? Not after what Except he Except Jaime right? saw a ghost back there. Merlin. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get off! Ah, get off! Get off! Gotcha. His Not sister, cool, that's right. She great. was. Cool. <laughs> she was going to sneak up on What them. are you doing for here? For sure, for sure. I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your She's way. She's wearing the this murder mill shirt. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie. We love Sister uh, Bonnie. I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? And, uh. And that's all I'm good for? Uh, she gave uh, us no, the twenty dollars no, no. I mean, to get our camera. Uh, she is <clears throat> definitely part of the crew. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. I don't care if she tags along. Relaxed. We're on Bonnie's good side. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here and you're not gonna get up to any funny business because that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. <laughs> well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? We're making movies. Just make we'll sure make you movie, don't get sis. in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Oh, dang. Find the door to the furnace chamber. All right, we're Linda now. Because it's our scene. It's our time. What are we doing? Furnace chamber. Bonnie don't even have no flashlight. <gasps> That's Sam's pipe. Bonnie do what Bonnie wants to do. Exactly. You okay? Does he know about his dad's pipe? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. He must. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. <gasps> oh yeah, our trinket box. Let's go get that. It's right there. Can we jump? Maybe from the other side? Let's go, Linda. Oh, there's nothing over on the other side. Um. What is this thing? Nothing. But why would it have me look at that? Talk to Chris. I don't want to. I want to get my trinket box. Wait. Can that thing be turned on? I mean, I can't like interact with it other than just... Need, oh, oh, it needs a part. Okay, okay, okay. Like what, like a crank? We'll find it. We'll find it. What, what happens if I hit that? It's just gonna show us the box. Guys, we need to find a crank. We're not doing anything until we find a crank. Here we go.
thought I saw something under there glowing. Under that one grate. Dang it. This is just showing us our missed freaking trinket. wants me to talk to them, but I don't want to leave. You think it's down there? If we fall down there, can we get back out? I can't jump down there. Dang it. Is that where the baby was? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because he was stuck to this pipe right here. So when he was released, he fell down and then took Frank out right here. Oh my God, I see your face. Hey, Courtney. This is where we just came in, right? Yeah. And this was our ramp option. Oh my God, maybe we needed to, no, the box wasn't there during that time. So there's no way we missed that trinket box before, right? Because we never took this ramp before. We always just took this ladder. Maybe talk first. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Here we go. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I, I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course. Then you know what I have to do. Cut. Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was Why great. did he change Thanks. his voice like that so much? Did you hear that weird groan we right at the end there? Oh, uh, we gotta no, do. but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. <laughs> oh my How'd I do? God. Mm, so good, Jaime, so good. Or you were mm, good? He'll be so sad if we say you were good. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. The film uh, is cursed. Remember the film Something is about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. 
God damn, kids, that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. Thanks, Bonnie. Also, what kind of I'm movies impressed. are you watching? But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Oh, Sacrificing no. your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. Uh oh What? Sibling you don't fight. want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get some air. You wanna come outside, Bonnie? Let's take Bonnie outside. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you wanna come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Siblings. <laughs> Does Robert see? So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me. Also, <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all <gasps> the attention something. in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Oh, wait, is that the face? Holy... What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Wait, what? <gasps> Focus on the strange subject. Whoa! What's Ain't so that something? What is that doing? Needs cranking. Hold on. Oh, okay. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Whatever the hell that happened? was, it's gonna look great. Did we get in the it? Movie. <laughs> we got it. That was weird. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look.
My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip, rip my limbs off it. one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? Unless we I guess so. can find I mean, something and he always back. has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was right. weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes it. back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. <gasps> what do you mean? Uh, Oh Why God. is it always clowns? Because everybody loves a clown. <laughs> there are fingers on it. Oh my okay. God, I love it. So, uh, Why does he have a bow, though, all the way up there? There's like a bow on his double chin. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Dead end. Not this way. All right. Oh, right. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching there all is. kinds there of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff. Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it's right it. there. There's sure. one. Sure. Whatever you say, man. How do I get that? How do I get that down? How do I get that ladder down? We get to go back out this there. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It's been it at is. that for ages. <laughs> Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. It won't change. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're going to oh, no. find anything Taps the police are broken. Miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Oh, no. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, oh, it's relax, a skeleton crew up. now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, oh. the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight there. transfer oh system, gosh. and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. So we have two trinket boxes Let's that we can Let's find a way. Come on. Figure out. And we've lost one. We can't find one at all. Oh, we're hominging out. Gotta be now. a way to get up there. I'm hoping maybe we get to circle back. It. it should open the door, right? I mean, if there's power, sure. Oh my god, we gotta go turn on the gen. Maybe there's something useful in there. I mean, there's a key. Right there. Do we smash the window? Oh my god, I thought I was falling. <laughs> I thought we were falling. I was like, we're, we're falling in slow motion. This is crazy. See what Robert has found. He found the gen. All right, here we go. Broken? 
Looks like, yeah. We can repair. Uh, let me it. take a look. We can do it as a team. <sighs> Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's <laughs> no movie. DVD jam, she decides right. she works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Look, wasn't Robert, what? I'm jealous of you. Say it, Hame. We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. Uh, so, I'm just in the way then. No. Wait a few minutes. I want a few minutes alone with Chris. You're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. I mean, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like we wants to be upset about it. We're gonna go with suspicious this time. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. So we've been having a good time doing research. So what? So she's my girlfriend. Oh, and? To square up. And you're not exactly <laughs> denying that you're trying to put the moves on her. Hey. What's up, party people? Saved by Chris. Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Let's go scrounging. Find parts for the generator. We need two of them. I couldn't even find parts for that last thing to get the trinket. How am I supposed to find generator parts? Definitely not down here. Um. Here's one. Could help with the generator. Stop it, we just need one more. I wish we could just break through this window and just I think that should be option two. This Found might it. work with the generator. Skill check incoming. Oh my God. Oh my 
my god, here we go again. Electricity. Let's go. And with a click of the button, ching. Oh, we're yeah. In. Now we're getting somewhere. Find a way into the office. It looks like it's that way, but what else is in here? Oh, the way up. The door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. Got it. Oh, maybe I need to move it just a little more. There we go. And also, uh, excuse me. Dang it. It's locked. All right, here we go. Hup. Hup. Uh, what? It's a trap? Oh. <sighs> Oh, we're in. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Like a raccoon? Oh. Okay. What have we here? Our trinket box. And a key. So, what do you unlock, little key? F stone. Like a locker? Use the key to unlock the box car. That's a box car. Find anything? Yep. Frank it's got a label stone. on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, yeah, man. girl, you know. Anything for you and Frank Stone. Where's she going? Oh. Let's Where see am if I going? He unlocks the boxcar. Yeah, what is that? Show lead the way. Oh, this? Oh, here it is. Voila. Up. Still need to go up. What is it? Oh. Not that high, go. I'll go first. Get out of here. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, get some. <laughs> Three. Well, if it's that easy, he's gonna fall. <laughs> <Ooh. gasps> 
Son of a... Thanks, man. You're we almost lost Robert. <laughs> oh, <look>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, yeah, check it. Dang, skill check. Wow. We almost lost Robert. Right through the wall. <laughs> Roberto, no. We almost did. That was almost a wrap. Hand oh, in a jar. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is, is that a... Yeah. Pick it up, Chris. And it's got friends. Oh. <sighs> Scally! I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is insane. There's a ribcage over there, though. It must have come loose when the freight broke through. Millwright's Notebook, Cedar Steel Corporation. Rip. Who are these other Parker people? Parker D. Want to get close, feel every blow, hear their screams. Kessler, this time, make it last. Better control for the neck, small cuts. Keep clean, taste their fear. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror, cut, and fix. Yo, we just found the best journal ever. <laughs> oh, something was on my ceiling. Got freaked out for a split second. Had to do a double, triple take, you know what I'm saying? All right, what's in the pot? The fuck! What is it? Oh! <laughs> Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. They're better than her father. Oh, he's done for. He's ruined for life. He'll I don't never think be the, the same. police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went now I know what's going on in your new terrifying journal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's I'm right. Sorry, We're going to make it so creepy. I think I got to go get my creepy, dad. Creepy, terrifying, terrifying journal. This is like real oh, deal, no. no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. Oh, we no. really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris. I thought. I know how important your movie is. But this Tom whole place is part of an actual murder case alive. now. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? Maybe tampering isn't movie? right. Maybe the we're, done. we found extra. Robert's right. We just found. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. And then we're gonna get Go. in serious just don't trouble. Touch anything else. From Sam. Okay. Hi, Roberto. We should get he went the out the out escape here. hatch. <laughs> he went out the escape hatch. Let's go. All right. Um. Also, never have I ever. Never been through the escape hatch in DVD. I guess Cal the cops Hearn's never connected Stone French Stone to friend this. Murdered, say police, following several days of rumors and speculation. Sheriff Lloyd Cusick. 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 Shoot, I forgot how it was pronounced. Last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce C. Barton at Hawkline Point Test Point last Thursday night as a double a murder. Cush it, cook it, cush it. Shit! Cush it, cush it, cush it, right? I'm like overthinking it now. Kushik. Kushiks. <laughs> I don't know. Do we go down there? Ladies first. Oh. I mean, we I'll catch go. you. <laughs> I 
I mean, I'll catch you. What a gentleman, that's right. That's Maybe we right. should wait outside until Robert comes back. You can't move that. Is moving that such a good idea? He's, good. He's definitely shocked. He's definitely shocked. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. I'm just not cool the with this. Real okay, deal. noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? No. Of course I care how you feel. If that were true, you'd have noticed how hard it's been for me while you run around with Robert. How may calm down off, off like, that jealousy train? Run around train, you know with saying? Robert? Dude, I'm dating you, not Robert. Doesn't feel like it. Then act like well, it. I have to watch act you like and it, Chris. Linda half the time. Don't you care how oh, I feel? Oh, we're switching sides now. Me and... Come on. That's not even remotely the Pickling. same. We've been friends since kindergarten. Are you and for in Chris? And all that time, you neither of you even felt remotely attracted to each other? Huh? What? Maybe I do have feelings for Linda. What? No, he would never say that. No way. Hey, no way. No. No way. But not possible. No. I, but we're like brother and sister. Uh no. huh. I'm Maybe. serious. It's not no. like that. It, it can't be like that with us. Sometimes the hardest thing to accept is the truth. Look, are we breaking man, up right now? I gotta get this shot before Robert comes back with his dad. Are we breaking up right now? Did we just break up? What happened? Okay, we gotta get the shot again. Oh no, we don't. Okay, good. I'm not sure at all. Me either. <gasps> Something's happening. The curse has been activated. We're breathing it in right now. We are part of it. It is the camera for sure because Agatha gave it to us, remember? Huh? She just conveniently had the camera in her curiosity shot. What? And now, <gasps> oh, that's bad. <sighs> it's not Agatha. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's not. It's Augustine. <laughs> Augustine. She gave us the curse of camera. What is it? To curse things with. Oh my god. Oh no. He's just standing there. He's like, well. Sorry, Chris. Shut the door. Kame, shut the door. Do something! Confront! Yes, we got this, Kame. Get some! just happened <laughs> so sorry Hame 